on the chef you and I am I'm with chef Amy Ott from Clostermans and she's the, also their marketing director and Amy these really look like hot dogs mm -hmm. okay so are we gonna put them on the top or the bottom of the grill uh, we can go on the bottom of the grill because we okay. want to get a good sear All right and you just unwrap them and this is so simple. Even your kids can help you do this. Oh, absolutely. It's a fun thing to get the kids involved with. Yeah, they could do your this, recipes. you know, like if they were on a camping trip, maybe? Yes, you could do that over that a campfire. Kind of over a campfire, yeah. And um, that's really cool. And wait, um, actually, my cameraman gave you a recipe. He did. That, I have to tell you this one. This is really <laughs> fun. When um, my kids were little, we were always trying, you know, to come up with economical ways mm -hmm. and, and things that they would like to eat. And they were very close. They were only a couple years apart from each other, right? Mm -hmm. And they um, loved, he used to make cannonballs. And so cluster we will give Clusterman's our recipe. Oh, great. Um, actually, what you do is you take bread and you put, um, you you actually grill it on one side under your broiler, mm -hmm. okay, and then you turn it over, and then you put um, butter, I think you put butter on first, and then you put your ground beef, or you can use turkey or chicken mm -hmm. or whatever, um, and then you put that on, and then you put a little tiny bit of butter on the top, and then you let it, um, we use really lean beef, but that back then we didn't, mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> so what we did, what we did was we grilled it, and then it comes out really, mm, that really sounds wonderful. Really good. And then if you want to put a little cheese or something on it, you can. Oh, yeah. But it's like a half a sandwich. It doesn't have that many calories in it. And kids love it. Oh, I'm sure, because it's different than just eating a regular Yay! sandwich. It's so fun. And so uh -huh. we love getting ideas for sandwiches, what you do with your leftover bread, any fun recipes that you do with kids. We love hearing all of that. So we're going to be doing this one today. We're going to be doing croutons today, your own yes. home croutons, and we're also going to be doing um, bread pudding. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Very. So we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back on The Chef You and I. We're back on The Chef You and I with Amy Odd from Clostermans. And this next recipe that we're, we're doing, which everybody can do, mm -hmm. but some people, like I said, don't really know how to make croutons. So we're going to show them how to do okay. it and what they're supposed to look like, right? That's right. All right. And you're taking the crust off, right? Or yes. Yes, I did. Yeah, you can take off the crust, but you don't have to. But you can use that even. Yeah, that can be part of your, your crouton. Okay. Just, and you can cut them however big or small you'd like. So if you're using them in a soup, you can cut them a little bit larger. Uh-huh. I was thinking about that because I was doing it so particularly <laughs> when I first started to do it. And then I thought, well, you know, you can do it a lot of different ways. And... Every chef I know saves everything oh, for yes. other things. Uh, Are you yes. like that too? Absolutely. Save parts of celery and carrots for stock. Right. I do that all the time. I use uh, peelings, and we use mm -hmm. that. We use that bag well for everything, actually. That and, thing is very uh, handy because it, it's such a it's a great product, and they're such a great company. And I, a woman invented it, which I absolutely love, the <laughs> idea that she did that. And she did it in college, of all places. Oh, wow. So, anyhow, but this is what it's supposed to look like when you're finished, right? Yeah. And we're going to put it on that tray right there, right? Yes. And for easy cleanup, you can line the pan with foil and spray it with nonstick spray. Uh -huh. And then you just lift them. When they're finished, you can just lift up the piece of foil and right. you can use your bag well and dump them into the bag. That's when the easiest way to yes. do it. That's what I did before. <laughs> and, you know, I always have a lot of company here and everybody thinks my house is a bed and breakfast. <laughs> so I'm always trying to find new ways to do things. Um, and uh, actually, that little recipe that I gave you before, we could actually, you came up with the idea with egg, mm -hmm. which is a smart idea, with sausage with a piece of bread, right? Yes. But I've even got something better for you that I Ooh. haven't even told you and showed you. Um, and it is something that came from Cincinnati when we were really little, little kids, right? Mm -hmm. And it was a toast height. And you use <sighs> a piece of bread uh, on both sides and you can make s'more, you can make everything with it. Oh. And Klosterman should have one because it's one of the coolest things you can do with bread. I love and it. And I will make sure that you get one. Oh, so, thank you. So, anyhow, so now are we going to use aluminum foil or are we just going to use... Um, we can put it straight on the Straight plate. on the plate. Actually, mm -hmm. this is one of these guys that 
you don't really need it, mm -hmm. which I did this a little bit before. So you just bring them and you put them on here, right? Spread mm -hmm. them out, right? Um, we would want to season them with. Oh, you want to the, season them first? Yes. Oh, not starting this way, starting the other so way we first. Can use a bowl. Okay. Or you can also use a plastic bag. I tend to like to use the bowl because the plastic bag can okay. tear up the little bread pieces you so carefully cut. Right. <laughs> Jostling it around. Okay. And uh, I have some dried parsley. Okay. Which we will add. Could you use fresh parsley and chop it up? Or not? You could, but since there's a lot of moisture in, in it, it, so it would it take would, longer. It really would, and I just think that it would turn brown and not look very nice. Well, I've been dehydrating things mm -hmm. lately because I, you know, this is a great time of year, you know, that you can grow easy uh, spice, you know, make your own spices mm -hmm. actually. So, what are you putting? You're using this is just an Italian seasoning blend okay. in addition to the parsley, and you can use your right. favorite seasonings. Right. Uh, a little bit of garlic salt. Okay. And we have some Parmesan cheese. Okay. And also a little bit of garlic powder. And you don't have to use garlic salt. You can just use straight garlic, garlic powder, powder if you're washing your sodium. Right. And I'm just going to use uh, olive oil. Okay, which is great. It's great for you, actually. A lot of um, monounsaturated fats, which right. is great. Right. So do you use something like your hands or whatever? Yeah, you can just go in and just mm -hmm. kind of gently toss them around mm -hmm. and get them pretty well coated and you put them in a preheated 300 degree oven. Which we've already done. And for about 15 minutes and then you mix, you mix them around, put them in for another 15 minutes until they're pretty dry. Okay. And and you can save these. This is the cool thing about yes, they make great uh, croutons. Snacks. Right. And this is an easy way to, to save money because, you know, when you buy the croutons, they're, they're kind of expensive. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to put this in, a, in, in the oven. I've already okay. put 350, so I'll turn it down a few degrees. Okay. And we need to time it for how long? Uh, 15 minutes, and then you turn them, and another 15 minutes. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's do the kitchen timer. You know, Amy, it's only going to take 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. I just turned the timer on. Yep. Let's rock with these. And I, there's one thing that I want to say right before we leave um, uh, for the break. This is vitamin D. Um, bread that we used? Yes, the, um, each slice has a good source of vitamin D. And that's important Abs for your health. Absolutely. So it's 10% per right. Can you give your Facebook? Yes, it's uh, facebook.com slash Klosterman Baking Company. Okay, we'll be right back on the Chef You and I after these few messages.